this video will explain you how to use the HTTP push plugin. Now I will put the link of the push and preload meaning in the video description. Now regarding the push and preload, there is two automation option. You can push preload or pre push preload both. You can do this for style sheet or JavaScript. When you enable this option, the plugin will automatically push or preload as per your selection for all the JavaScript or CSS file found on your page. Now, there is manual option as well. You have to select the resource. You have to go to the page and you have to do the view source and say, for example, I want to preload this jQuery file. So I will copy the link, complete link of this jQuery file up to the file name, excluding this version part. So it will look something like this. And this is a JavaScript, so I will select script. If it was a CSS file, I would have selected style. And then I want to preload this thing on all the pages. Then I have to save this. Once you have done this, you will see a new tag is added into the web page. That is this preload option so now that is when the page will be loaded this particular resource will be requested in, on the priority basis at the top the likewise you can also do the push preload for this resource so that the server will directly <coughs> sorry send over this resource now the other options in this plugin are to remove the CSS or JavaScript file. They are similar to this option, working is similar. You just have to select the style sheet file that you want to remove. For this, you do not have to insert the exact link of the resource. You just have to insert the matching string. For example, if I add this, that is the style sheet dot CSS, and this is the part. Let me show you. Okay, this file is the one way on this particular page. Now, okay. Oh, oh, sorry. Let's open this file we want to remove this file on all the pages now we have to save this and now when we will load this page this particular tile sheet file will be removed you can see that file is not loaded anymore and because that file was the main file of this page and since it is not loaded the page is looking broken now i can change that option to load asynchronous so the page style sheet will be loaded but it will be loaded after the page is loaded completely you can see the style sheet has came back and it is loaded asynchronously on this page. You can see it is preload. And likewise, you can do this same thing for the JavaScript if you want to remove or defer or asynchronize any JavaScript file, you can do that and there are different conditional tag options available in the plugin that allow you to apply those rules on particular type of pages i hope this video will help you to use this plugin